name is Terry welcome to my channel my username across the internet is surpassing Google and this is an experimental video it's going to start up a series um, where I'm going to be asking interesting questions relating to uh, renowned celebrities uh, for a start um, and today we're going to talk about Fela Fela and Nicola Pukuti. Uh, and the question is what is wrong with his voice what is wrong with his voice uh, it's an entire subject an entire case study you know uh, fella is a great man um, perhaps unknown to I mean perhaps still unknown to a few uh, but this is a measure to make it renowned uh, there's every evidence of his greatness um, there's a rarity in the great man industry and uh, fella is a topic of discussion and in this particular video we're going to look at his voice you know what is wrong with his voice it's unreal you know he wasn't so melodious in his singing but his voice was matter has weight and occupies space and there's a lot to say you know the kind of buzz in his voice is spiritual you know, it comes from grit, grind, hustle, dirt, greatness. I say dirt, let me tell you the truth. The greatness is not so clean. You know, it comes from conscious isolation, you know, those prison times. You know, in the expanse of that small space, you know, you define and redefine yourself. You know, tap into your shine, your invincibility your spirituality, be told of divinity, and then your voice begins to reflect it, you know. And speaking of voice, there's so much context. You know, we talk of voice very superficially today, but, you know, how about the undertone of his voice and the thunderous power it emanates, the force, you know, it's capable of appealing to the soft spot of every human regardless of nation, regardless of levels of literacy, the voice carries story and history. You know, you see measure of that with his son, especially Sharon Kuti. But even so, it's easy to establish that Sharon Kuti is son. You know, uh, perhaps when he's older, but at this stage, you know, the, the, the weight, the heftiness of that buzz is not something that is replicatable at this stage in Sharon's life, but Sharon is great as well. There's a lot to talk about in speaking of melody, those are you know there are things that transcend melody, you know. Fella was talking, you know, to prophesying basically, speaking to generations yet born, pondering, brainstorming, inventing, caring about them all through that you know, thin, it's not a thing anymore, you know, subliminal stuff that comes out as his voice, his voice is scooped, you know, kept somewhere and, you know, it undertakes consequences, hassle, you know, you know, and it's, he puts it back on to emancipate. There's a lot to say about this and it's an entire case study and topic for discussion. So if you are on this channel, please head over to you loggers TV and subscribe. We do live streams there and this will constitute an entire live stream where I'll invite people from all walks of life to discuss his voice. You know, the very elements of his voice, voice can create instrumental, you know, it combines all, all those conga, no, they don't use conga, something like conga drums and the shakere and the i don't know what they call that one that they hit with the the wood and the stick boom boom you know fella's voice can encapsulate all those instrumentals into one it's very african you know this <laughs> it has swag and i cannot replicate it even with my strongest of bars by bars i don't know if I, i'm not very musically inclined i don't know the terminologies but i have a music sense and by bars i mean the 
you know. And, you know, the world may not understand, you know, the world is too linear, it's too static. You know, even the English language that is universally spoken is limited, you know, it barriers stuff and just labels them, you know, and fella's voice was broader than that. That's why it could speak in tongues, you know, it formulates its own sound and, uh, uh, um, um, Yes, it's speaking in tongues. Basically, there is a spiritual side to it. Those things comes from come from a bit of maybe grace, you know, mental conscious mental exertion and exercise and things that we don't do in, in that the world of today doesn't know of the painted world of today, you know doesn't need to be melodious there's something in even if you just hear it has everything in it you know entire Africa except encapsulated in it you know most people I see people trying to react to songs from abroad African songs and you know they want to pay attention pick the words but words are very limited especially English words you know uh, they don't know that you know you can tap into your spirit and formulate a new language, speaking tongues practically. You know, we do want to check the meaning out of uh, something like, uh, gosh, my memory. Anyway. I'll stop here. I want this is experimental. Uh, you can turn out a, an entire discussion, an entire publication will, you know, emanate from this. It's not a blog. It's a form of content that's called U logs. It's a form of content I created that, you know, taps into the depths and is an object of evolution and conscious isolation and all of that. You know, about Fella's voice. It's a case study. And we'll publicize it. You know, let's dispel some of the, na the superficial narratives that exist. Again, what is wrong with Fella's voice is something that we will see, especially this generation, because we grow further away from uh, realities of human and further into outer space, you know, leaving the down to earth spaces where greatness lies. You know, we're always in shoku falling people into Shokuto leaving the Shokoto. Uh, Fela is a great man. He still exists today, you know. Uh, and evidence of that is in this discussion. And may his days count, you know, all his words. You know, those words aren't just for merriment's sake or to catch a groove, you know. Those are stuff of greatness. Anyway, I'll stop here. I'm your boy, Terry. Make sure you stay awesome. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel, share this video, let's discuss it, share me your thoughts in the comments, and join us on Uloggers TV where we'll discuss this subject in a live stream. Make sure to stay awesome.